welcome or welcome back to our channel art culture festival where we talk about all things art today's episode is a continuation of our ongoing mini series painters tools a beginner's guide by nagma shamim today's episode is all about brushes different types of brushes and how to distinguish brushes from their shapes today's episode will be conducted by nagma shamim Master of Fine Arts from Aligarh Muslim University and a resident artist and she will be here to explain all her tips and tricks about brushes. Thank you Smita. So hi this is Nagma Shami. Uh, here I am back with my second video where I will talk where I will let you know about the brushes. As being an artist, uh, I have worked uh, like since eight years, but I have came to the conclusion that you don't need a lot of brushes because we have a varieties of brushes of d different numbers, different angle, different shape, different material. But uh, here I am to help you out, especially for the beginners. Uh, you just need uh, just seven brushes, which are like more important, which are like basic brushes. You can start your dream painting with uh, these brushes only. So let, uh, let's make it more easy for the beginners. So for your help, I will start one by one. So let's start from the thinner one, which is quite pointed, so, uh, which is quite useful for making the detail. Uh, if you can see on this thing, there are more detailed works, more lining. It is like it is completely made of the linings. So this kind of painting is quite helpful for that. So like moving to the next one, which is angled uh, slanted brush. It is called angle because it has an angle and it is quite slanted. Because of its, uh, its shape, it is quite helpful for filling to the smaller areas to the bigger one in a single stroke. Just like you can move from here and you can turn it around for the bigger strokes. So we are done with the two brushes and here is the third one with like my favorite because it is flat and it is quite useful for making textures and I have uh, told you on my earlier video that I love textures I use I love giving 3d effects on the canvases so this is the brush and it has a very arranged vessels which is quite useful for making texture kind of this very rough textures you can give a very uh, straight line to this from this flat brush moving from the more bigger one because I told you about the smaller flat brush and now we have the bigger brush which is quite smooth and it has absorbs more water so you can apply uh, you can use this brush to make uh, like background for the bigger canvases and uh, for uh, giving a very wash kind of texture so if you are thinking for the bigger canvas I always prefer this one to wet the canvas and to smooth the background because uh, on the first layer you always need a very smooth surface so it is quite useful for the bigger canvas as it is the bigger brush so the next is fan brush as the name suggested is uh, exactly this looks exactly like a fan and it is quite helpful for uh, when you are making landscapes for giving uh, like the texture of the grasses or the bushy grasses the br the bushy branches of the trees so it's helpful for uh, the drawings of nature or for making landscape so do you know the brush emoji that's the round brush we have seen uh, various emojis it's always the round brush and it is the most traditional it is the most uh, used brush up to date if you witness our old master's work, you will always uh, see the, that they have always used this round brush because it, this brush is very versatile. So everyone always recommend this brush because we can do a lot of things from this a single round brush. So here we are with the last brush, which is filbert brush. So uh, what I have shown you earlier that was flat. This is also flat, but the flat brush has a very sharp pointed edge. Uh, and has a very oval uh, round edges which gives a very thin uh, line when we use from the liner side but while using from the from the front side it gives a very flat strokes so here i'm ending up my video with uh, my personal favorite brushes which i have shown you point by point you can use it because uh, uh, like 
my eight years of experience i have came to the end that you don't need much brushes you can carry with this uh, like seven brushes because uh, i have shown you my work and uh, you can witness that i just use like this uh, very small line to the flat one and with the bigger one for the background so you don't need to be very confused while you are starting any painting if you're a beginner just go with this brushes which i have told you and uh, hopefully you are going to rock with your paintings so that concludes the episode for today thank you so much nagma for sharing your valuable wisdom and by the looks of the brush it does seem that nagma uses these brushes quite a lot so stay tuned for our next episode with nagma shami please like this video and share it with people who you think might be interested and subscribe to our youtube channel art culture festival for more videos related to art and ring the bell notification